Hey everyone, it's me, Lauren Toyota, back with your LG Off the Ice Hockey Wives Episode 3 Recap, brought to you by LG Home Appliances. I'm here every week to dish on Hockey Wives, and if you're at all curious, you could also check me out on my own personal YouTube channel. This week, we welcome two new Hockey Wives to the show and see the aftermath of Free Agency Day. The main spotlight is on Mary-Pierre Moran. MP and Brandon have come back down to earth after a magical vacay in Italy, but Brandon's been traded to the Van Vancouver Canucks, which means he's got to move to the West Coast. This is every hockey wives nightmare. Mayor Pierre thought her and Brandon were safe for another year under his contract with the Canadians. But if we know one thing about this life, anything can happen. But because he's an angel, Brandon throws MP a surprise engagement party at their summer home in London, Ontario. Oh, except fashionista MP has no idea and therefore is not prepared. She waltzes in wearing only Brandon's baggy clothes and is totally thrown off. Bring on the waterworks. I mean, it's weird and bittersweet, right? She's upset and emotional about the trade, but now every important person in her life is right in her face to congratulate her on her engagement. She really loses it too when her parents surprise her out of nowhere. Aww. But it's nothing a few glasses of champagne can't solve. She ends up really enjoying the party and she gets a moment with big sis Tiffany to talk about it all. Of course, Tiffany gives sound advice and she's basically like, it's sad, but you've had the time to build a strong relationship with Brandon, so him moving really isn't the end of the world. Well, MP's pal, Keisha Shante, who's the girlfriend of Ray Emery, takes her out for lunch and flat out says, you can't do long distance, honey. It's a relationship killer, according to Keisha. Keisha's 100% for MP following Brandon to Vancouver, despite the fact she has her own career aspirations and is already committed to hosting a new TV show in Quebec. I am not envious of MP right now at all. But Keisha's like Ray Emery's little good luck charm. She said she actually took a year off work to follow him to Chicago and she fully focused all her attention on him and then their team won the Stanley Cup. Keisha thinks MP should go see a psychic to get more clarity. Good idea, Keish. The psychic basically tells MP that the next year is going to be challenging, it's not going to go smoothly, and it's going to be full of obstacles. Things are about to get real stressful for MP. All right, we catch up with Taylor and Daniel Winnick. Now, in the show right now, she's only engaged to Daniel, but in real life, she is now officially Taylor Winnick. Anyway, we find them house hunting in Toronto where they're going to spend the next upcoming season as Daniel's playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, Daniel is my number two. Hottie Brandon, number one, and number two, Daniel Winnick. He looks like Liam Hemsworth, and according to Taylor, he's a real good cook. That's hot. Also, Taylor seems like a total professional. I love her. She's a producer, a photographer, but she's also American, which unfortunately means she doesn't have a visa to work in Canada. So she's feeling a little lost. But who cares? Taylor, you have a wedding to prepare for in two weeks in Napa Valley, so I think that should distract you. Uh, not to mention Dan's $5 million contract. Back at the LaBarber household, Cadet is super, super anxious on free agency day. Like, way more nervous about it than her husband Jason seems to be. He's a free agent, but he's not getting any calls on the first day, and in the past, he always has. So Cadet's stressing, to say the least. She doesn't know what team he's going to be playing for, and therefore where the family is going to be living next season. But of course, her main concern is how her kids are going to handle such a big move. But come day two, he gets the call. Jason's been offered a contract to play for Philly for one year. <sighs> all is well. Another wife on the edge as free agency day continues is Rihanna Weaver. Her husband Mike Weaver has been playing hockey for a long time, 15 years. And because of that, he's always thinking about what's next for him after the NHL. So she's anxious to know if Mike's going to get offered a contract, if he'd even take the contract, should he retire, and where her and her family is going to live in the next year. So to get their minds off the league, they take a little trip to Niagara Falls to relax and reconnect. Ashley and David Booth are far away in Australia during free agency, where David's playing a charity game for something called Stop Concussion. Now, Australia isn't really known for hockey at all, but it's US versus Canada and it's all raising awareness for a good cause since David also had a bad injury in 2010. Okay, but now for the real story. Ashley takes a little time for herself with some friends and goes and plays with koala bears. <gasps> I want to do that so bad. JK, the real plot point here is that Ashley reveals that the idea of having kids with David makes her nervous and she's totally not ready. Wait a second, is this like foreshadowing to them actually getting pregnant this season? Well, there's lots of change in the tarot cards for all the hockey wives and their fans, and summer's almost over. But next week, we're gonna see Taylor and Daniel Winnick's wedding. So get your dancing shoes on and tune in every Wednesday at 10 p.m. on W Network to watch Hockey Wives, and then come back to watch my vlog recaps every Thursday right here on WDish.com. Bye.